In today's video, we're going to be looking at the top 10 names that you can't legally give your child. And in at number 10, it's Gesher, which means bridge. In 1994, Norwegian Chrissy Larsen gave birth to her 13th child and decided to name him based off a word that came to her in a dream, bridge. She then translated bridge to Hebrew, giving the baby name Gesher. The government rejected the name, and in February 1995, she was told to give the 10-month-old a name from the official list of acceptable Norwegian names like Odd or Raw. If she didn't change the name, she was looking at a $420 fine or two days in jail. Larsen went to prison rather than admit wrongdoing and said that even though she lost the fight in court and would choose a name from the list, the family would still call him Gesher. Number 9. Nutella up until 1993, France had a list of official names that new parents had to pick from. After 1993, they were allowed to pick almost anything they wanted. While there haven't been too many outrageous names, one that caught the attention of the courts was a daughter being bestowed with Nutella. The court ruled that the name would lead to the child being teased and wasn't in the best interests of the girl. When the parents failed to appear in court, possibly because it was a morning appointment and they were too busy enjoying their breakfast spread, the judge ruled that the girl's name be changed to Ella. Number 8. Venerdì, which means Friday. Who doesn't love Fridays? Well, the Italians apparently, at least when it comes to naming babies. When a couple named their son Venerdì, they were drawing inspiration from a character in Robinson Crusoe. But Friday is a somewhat stereotypical native servant, and the court ruled that the name is associated with subservience and inferiority. The parents said they were going to keep calling their son Venerdi and would double down by naming their daughter Merca Lady Wednesday. Hopefully, the Italian courts don't have a problem with the Adams family. Number 7. Stahlman, which means Superman. Sarah Lyston of Gothenburg, Sweden, said her son was born with one arm raised above his head so he looks like Superman, and obviously he had to be named after him. A judge ruled that the name was too much like a surname, and that was against the rules in Sweden. The ruling caused a bit of an uproar, because while Stahlman wasn't permitted, names like Tarzan and Batman are allowed. The inconsistency prompted some members of parliament to ask for new legislation on naming rules. Number 6. Tallulah Does the Hula from Hawaii Born in 1999 in New Zealand, Tallulah Does the Hula from Hawaii was understandably embarrassed by her name. In fact, she never told her friends what her real name was, telling them instead that it was Kay. When she was nine, her parents separated and she went to court as part of the process. The judge found out she hated the name and made her a ward of the state so she could change it. The judge chastised the parents for being so irresponsible, and the new name wasn't made public to protect her identity. And that's not the only time New Zealanders have had a problem with naming children, because, in at number 5, New Zealand's Other Banned Names. In 2013, New Zealand released a report with all the names they had to ban. Some of the worst came from people that apparently forgot they were naming their child and not coming up with a YouTube username. One couple tried to name their child Mafia No Fear. When another couple saw the sonogram of their baby for the first time and realized it was for real, they named him For Real, and yes, that's with the number 4. Finally, for unknown reasons, someone tried to name their child Anal. Even stranger are the names that were allowed. Twins were named Benson and Hedges after the cigarette brand. Then there was Violence, Number 16 Bus Shelter, and Poor Tallulah. Number 4. Sonora, Mexico's Banned Names in the Mexican state of Sonora, government officials pulled 61 names from the baby registry that they deemed inappropriate. Highlights included Rambo and Robocop. Other unfortunate names included a child named Facebook, girls named Lady Di and Masiana, which means Martian, and boys named Juan Calzone, which means Juan Panties, and Circumcision, which means Circumcision. The children with these names will be able to keep them. Lucky them, but they'll be banned for any future children. Number 3. Osama bin Laden Less than a year after the September 11 attacks, a Turkish couple living in Cologne, Germany, tried to name their son Osama bin Laden. The name was banned because the German government has two very strict rules when it comes to names. It has to clearly identify the person as male or female, and it can't be offensive. You get one guess as to which of the two rules Osama bin Laden violates. German officials also pointed out that they could have banned it on the grounds of the name being equally illegal in the couple's home country of Turkey, so they really had no hope of naming their child after one of the most hated men on the planet. Number 2. Saddam Hussein 
There are some people who just like to provoke others and create controversy. It's one thing for adults to do that on their own, but it's a whole different matter when they bring their newborn children into it. Which brings us to a father in Brazil, Osvaldo Oliveira Soares, who tried to name his son Saddam Hussein in 2001. Luckily, citing the welfare of the child, the courts intervened and told Soares to get a less dictatorial name. If that wasn't bad enough, nine years later he tried another name too, Osama bin Laden, and again the court intervened. Presumably, if he has any further children, he's going to go for broke and attempt to name them Super Hitler. And speaking of which, in at number one, it's Nazi names. If parent jail became a thing, Heath Campbell of New Jersey would be its first inmate. Campbell and his former wife, Deborah, who are avowed Nazis, had three children together. They named their son Antonio Adolf Hitler Campbell, but later dropped the first name because otherwise it just sounded ridiculous. Their daughter was Joyce Lynn Aryan Nation Campbell, and their third child, again a daughter, was given the name Hanslin Hindler Janine Campbell in honor of Heinrich Himmler. The couple and their children's names came to the national spotlight in 2009 when a supermarket refused to write the name Adolf Hitler on a birthday cake. Shortly after that incident, the state took the children away and Heath and Deborah separated. Unfortunately, that didn't stop Heath from having more children with another woman. He had a son named Hans Heinrich, also named in honor of Himmler, and a daughter named Eva Braun. Both these children were taken away by the state hours after being born. Heath, who is illiterate and has been unemployed for most of his adult life, has gone to court a few times to fight for his children. Each time he went to court in full Nazi regalia, including a Hitler moustache and a large swastika neck tattoo. In total, Heath is believed to have nine children and doesn't have custody or visitation rights for any of them. We guess that's the closest thing to a happy ending a story like this can have. So I really hope you enjoyed that video, and I'd love to know what you think of it, so please leave a comment below. I'm also going to link over to another video that you might enjoy, so just click on that thumbnail on the screen now. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel, because we put out a new video seven days a week, and you can also visit us online. Just go to top10s.net. Thanks for watching.